Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. Greg, I have killed... One, three, five, two, at least ten gods, demigods, or people who claim they're gods. And here you are worrying about whether something is strong or not. At least I'll now know the answer of what happens when you challenge a weeaboo sword collector and his pet rock. Time to learn about Battle in the Big Key. Simplified. One tank will need to take Gilgamesh and drag him away as his unmarked tank buster will cleave. The rest of the party will focus the burp. Enkidu will target random party members with small AoE whirlwinds called Aero 2. At times, Enkidu will cast White Winds. This will heal Gilgamesh significantly and it's why we ignore him for this phase. If you get hit with Web, this will give you the debuffs of Heavy and Slow which are assunerable. Whirlwind Slash is a point blank AoE below Gilgamesh. When Enkidu gets below 80%, Gilgamesh will move to the middle of the arena, knock everyone back and tear the pairs of players together with Minimum which will decrease their damage dealt and increase their damage taken. To eliminate the Minimize, the tether players will need to run together. After they do this, both players will return to normal. Eerie Soundwave is a kernel AoE to a random party member. If you get hit by this, it will give you the debuff Atrophy, which reduces all of your attributes by 30%. Gilgamesh will do Giga Jump, where he jumps to a random player with a medium-sized AoE around that player. Bitter End is a kernel AoE in front of Gilgamesh. Pradamante is a point-blank AoE below a random player. When Enkidu gets below 60%, several players will turn into chickens, and Twisters will start to spawn in around the arena. If normal players run into these Twisters, they will take massive damage and be knocked into the air. If the chickens run into these Twisters, they will take next to no damage. If the Twisters are left alone, they will eventually explode in a high damaging raid wide. If you get targeted with crosshairs, Enkidu will hit you with missile. This is a small AoE and deals damage in a percentage of your current health. So if you get targeted with crosshairs, just run away from the rest of the party. When Enkidu gets below 40%, Gilgamesh will repeat both the knockback with the tethered players and the chickens at the same time. Mechanics will repeat until Enkidu has been defeated. Head through to the next arena. Whirlwind Slash is still a point blank AoE below Gilgamesh. Bitter End is still a Kernel AoE in front of Gilgamesh, but this time it is untelegraphed as it is his tank buster. When you get Gilgamesh below 90%, he will move to the middle and create two sets of checkerboard straight line AoEs one after the other. Just move between the AoEs to dodge this. When he casts in chain, this will target the healer with an arrow tether. If you are far enough away, it will turn into a solid purple distance tether. Normally with this tether, the further you are away, the less damage it will deal. When the cast finishes, the healer will become untargetable, bound with a chain and given a bleeding diva. You will need to destroy the chain as fast as possible to rescue the healer. The shorter the length of chain, the more stacks of vulnerability up on it, which can make it almost impossible for the party to destroy before the healer will die. So you need to make sure the chain healer and Gilgamesh are as far away from each other as possible. After the chain is destroyed, Gilgamesh will target the tank with Sword Dance, which is a multi-hit cleaving tank buster. You can run through him after he starts swinging to avoid most of the damage from it. When you get Gilgamesh below 75%, he will move to the middle of the arena and perform Moonlight, which is a room-wide AoE. Then Dragon Heads will spawn in and slowly move around the arena. They will cast narrow straight line AoEs through random party members when on the outside of the room, and when they move in, they will cast medium-sized point-blank AoEs. You will need to burst these heads down as fast as possible. If they are left alive for too long, they will fly up into the sky and rain down a room-wide AoE called Dragon Strike. If enough heads are left alive, it can instantly wipe the party. He will also spawn a series of pink AoEs called Bloom Shower. There are a lot of safe spots, but some can be quite Small. There are also electric orbs in two patterns on the outside and inside that will explode in medium-sized circular AoEs. Just dodge either in or out depending on where they spawn first. Gilgamesh will repeat mechanics and tie them together back to back until he is defeated. Congratulations, you have beaten Greg again. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.